I mean, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was questioning it, but after seeing this, I, -E I think Morgz officially has a new girlfriend. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ian Steph, and you guys, leave a like on this video in the next 5 seconds or else you'll be placed on the naughty list this year for Christmas. Alright, so my last video we made fun of a video where Morgz handcuffs himself to a stranger for 24 hours. Now, it pretty much just consisted of him of doing some real... Strange... Things. And a lot. My friends call me a doctor. Dr. Cool. I mean a lot. So, Townsend, <sighs> are you single? Of cheesy pickup lines. On a scale of one to 10, you're a nine, but I'm the one you need. <laughs> you know what, I'll be damned because I don't know how, but apparently it works because look at the two of them now. We're just friends. So don't go look at me. I mean, if you ask me, it looks like Borgs and Tamsin are a lot more than just friends. Just take a look at this picture and tell me that the two aren't dating. All right, so I have a lot of stuff to spill in this video. So make sure to stay until the end so you don't miss any of it. But just before we get into this, if you guys can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it really would mean a lot. All right, so as all of you already know, Morg used to date Kira Bridget. And after the two broke up, Kira started spending a lot of time with Infinite List, who, well, no, I should say was really good friends with Morg. Now, as of now, it's pretty much confirmed that Kira and Infinite List are dating. Which I will get into another video. I know, I know. But based off of Morgz's Instagram, Tamsin's TikToks, and the Snapchat story that the two have been posting, it's pretty much confirmed that the two are dating. Now it all started on November 29 when Tamsin uploaded this TikTok. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can someone explain to me what that was? Like, what are those dance moves? He tried it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Tamsin is killing it. Like, she's a pretty good dancer. Work it, work it, work it all but Morgz, on the other hand, like, what is that, really? I don't know. All right, so moving on, the two made a few more TikToks together. One of them being a video where Morgz is yelling at Tamsin. Telling her that he wants to be a pretty girl. Off your face! No! You want to be a pretty girl? Well, you are not a pretty girl, and you know it. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know. I, I don't question his gender. If he wants to be a pretty girl, he can be a pretty girl. If he wants to wear a tiara, he can wear a tiara. If he wants to wear a bikini. Actually, you know what? Scratch that because he has done that once in the past, and let me just say it's. It, it's not, it's not the most pleasant sight. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like... <laughs> Trust me, we, we just don't need to see that again. All right, so this next TikTok, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, like it is pretty cute, but, but I, I'm sorry, it's just hard not to laugh when you watch it. God damn, did you see the arm on that girl? Those are literally arms of steel. Did you guys ever see that one episode of SpongeBob where Patrick punches SpongeBob after he calls him fat? You're going down, Tubby. Tubby? <laughs> Nobody calls me Tubby! <laughs> yeah, well this TikTok reminds me of that one episode and what's ironic is the fact that more used to be, um, well... <laughs> Ariel, pause for a second. This is very off topic, but is it just me or why is it that they call SpongeBob square pants, even though his pants are more in the shape of a rectangle? Uh, bruh, I don't know if it was just me, but like, I, I literally just realized that. All right, so this final TikTok that we're gonna be looking at, I already showed you guys earlier, but I wanna go a little more into depth with it and look at some things that you guys may have not noticed. So as we know, the two are about to kiss and then Tamsin pulls up. <laughs> Got it! 
I mean, first and most obvious, like, she's literally sitting on his lap. And I'm not saying that just because a girl sits on a guy's lap that she's in love with him or, you know, she wants to have a relationship with him or anything. But I mean, let's keep in mind that this is a guy who looks like he's trying to murder his own mother in his thumbnails. So I think that if he can pull any type of affection or any type of trust from a girl, well, then she's into him. Now the second thing which you may have not noticed is his hand at the start of the video. Jeez, buddy, I think that Morgz is forgetting that 99% of his viewers are 10 year old British Jake Pollard. Like keep it PG. And lastly, take a look at Morgz's lips when she goes down to kiss him. Did you guys see that bite? Like, god damn. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at their snow. Oh my god. He's a fucking giant compared to her. All right, y'all, real shit though. I rate it, I rate it. I mean, aside from the fact that it looks like he's about to choke her. I mean, they got the cute pose. She's wearing a hoodie, which is probably his, judging by the fact that it's literally as big as her. But I mean, hey, at least she's enjoying his company and he's not trying to set another girl's hair on fire. All right, so this picture was posted a few days ago on Morris' Instagram story. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but when we take a closer look, kiss, lick toe, strip in street. Yeah, so um, it looks like things are about to get freaky. All right, so update. My video was filmed prior to Morris' spin the wheel video he uploaded with Tamsin, but there was a clip in that video which at the end pretty much confirms that the two of them are dating because they actually kiss. Here, I'm gonna play the clip for you guys and let me know what you think. It isn't much, but it really seems that Morris and Tamsin are really trying to compete with Kira and Infinite because as we know that them two hinting at a relationship is making their channels blow up. They are getting views from it. They are racking views from it. And I was taking a look at both their channels and it seems like Morgs and Tamsin are doing similar things that Kira and Infinite List are doing. All right, so there's one last picture that we're gonna be taking a look at and that's this one here. I mean, come on. How much more obvious than this can it get that the two are dating? Well, unfortunately, the caption says we're just friends. With the wink. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. And Tamsin goes to reply to this photo by saying, unless dot 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 with the wink. I mean, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. That's all the proof that you need that Morgs and Tamsin Tabor are officially dating. Now, what's really interesting to me about this whole thing is seeing how Kira and Infinite List are gonna respond to this entire thing. As we all know, the breakup between Morgs and Kira Bridget was heated. I mean, their last video together before they broke up was called I Let My Girlfriend Search My Phone caught cheating. And on top of that, after they broke up, the two unfollowed each other on Instagram. And it's not uncommon for Morris to unfollow his exes because he still follows his first ex, which was his girlfriend before he started dating Kira. So my prediction with this whole thing is that we're slowly gonna start learning the truth to why Kira and Morgz broke up because as of now, we don't really have any 100% factual information on that. But I think that some beef is gonna start coming up. And you know, because like Kira and Infinite, I've been you know, getting a lot closer recently. Morris and Tamsin have been getting a lot closer recently. I just think that some sort of beef is gonna, you know, happen. But hey, I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that some sort of beef between Morris and Tamsin versus Kira and Infinite is gonna come? I don't know. Let me know. Yeah, but anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like, come on, if you're watching to the end of the video, if you're at this point of the video and you actually get through the entire thing, what are you doing? Leave a like right there. We're yeah, I think it's right there. If, if it's the other side, I'm an idiot. Guys, make sure to go follow my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph. And my Snapchat is Shock underscore U09. Thank you guys for all the support recently. It really does mean a lot. Uh, 2020, big things are coming. I, I know I, I said that kind of last year for this year. But literally, I got shit planned. Trust me, we got TikToks, we got music, collabs, and we're going to VidCon. Yeah, but anyway, guys, once again, I really enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, it's been Iron Steph. Peace. Yeah, yeah, riding through the city in a belly truck. Uh, I got money on my mind, I swear this shit is stuck. Oh, yeah, I'm a rich nigga. I got big money. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was cringe. Hey, babe. Oh my god. I'm, I gotta stop. Okay. I just, how do I? Oh my.